So today's episode, a lot of funny stuff will begin. Uh, so basically we'll be uh, creating a form and we'll be uh, inserting data to the database through that form, through our entity that we created in the previous video. So let's go ahead and say what we can do about it. So a credit operation, really, we need to divide it into more details here so we could add create the form here. So this is very important part. And again, the if you like to go deep with forms and symphony then there is no place better than symphony.com to learn about forms and there is two types of forms in symphony basically uh, we have what we call the the classes form which are the recommended ways and we have the in class forms so it's kind of fancy names i invented here so let me just jump firstly to the documentation we have classes basically that we can uh, create inside the controller uh, and this is basically for small classes uh, for this is what i'm talking about so uh, inside your method here you can recall create form builder and define your inputs and you're good to go but this is not the good practice the good practice is creating a form class and you will like this better because your form will be in a separate file and you will be simply calling it when we need it so we avoid like an extra code so here i will use this creating form classes and again if you'd like to go deep this is where you need to go so let me go ahead and create this class so uh, by the way you don't need to go this uh, this way forms types types form whatever uh, you can really stick with uh, what is written on the documentation of Presta shop so uh, well not really what I'm looking for but anyway let's go ahead and create our code uh, so my YouTube here in parallel with controller create a new directory called forms and inside it we can type a new file come on it must be a directory so new directory and let's call this forms there we go and inside it will be having, uh, for example, YouTube and let's go type, let's concatenate type here because it's also a good practice. All right, so with that in place, as written YouTube type and it will extend certain abstract uh, type. Don't forget the namespace, quite important. All right, so with that in place, now we have abstract uh, being extended. So we need to override a certain method from this abstract, which is build the form. So I'll go ahead and copy this full signature of the method and we must return builder and from this builder we'll be executing a method called add so add simply will create a new entry into our form so uh, i would like really to copy a bit of code just to speed up the process so add as we said it would be creating some uh, html inputs here for example it would be called name and we have a text type it will be basically the type of this input we have the description that will be a type uh, again text type and we defining placeholder here we have the price for example so for sure we'll be updating this later to fit our need but for now let's go ahead and test if this is working fine except that i'm having a warning saying that uh my da da da, da isn't compatible with this method yes we need to import this interface here we go so with that in place now we can use this youtube type inside our controller so let's close this abstract type back to our main controller the one that we created in this second episode and let's go ahead and create a new method so here i go ahead and copy this real quick so here it become create action and instead of returning now since hello world will be returning a template and this is why i kept this in, uh, into a command so here will be rendering at module and here to be the name of our module so my youtube mc so in lower case and the template admin demo.html.twit so here it become uh, create and it will contain some fancy stuff for now all right let's go ahead and create this file so it must be under the classic views directory so we can really do this real quick and let's do some lorem of 15 character now we need to create a route so duplicating this instead of youtube let's do rename it to youtuber create and uh youtuber slash create and we have the get and here instead of demo we'll be pointing to create action so let's go ahead and test this 
and everything is working fine except that we have probably is not callable module create class member does not exist well, what about rebuilding again? Uh, doing a quick composer dumb auto load. There you go. With that in place. There we go. Now it's working fine. And we have our returning from the smart AE template. Okay. So I just need to tweak a bit this template in order to get the global uh, layout. So here, what I'm going to do, I'll be extending uh, a certain template from the admin uh, PrestaShop bundle. And it's basically the same way we do with a, with a smart AE. We extend a certain template and we override our blocks inside that template. This is exactly the same thing. So here here and the block and let's get rid of this so and if I do lower them here I will have a better view for me all right so now it's time to create the form and we need to basically use the form that we created previously so here I'll create a new variable and I call it that form and it will contain a dollar this create form and this create form will basically use the YouTube type. And let's make sure that we do import it correctly right there. And we pass the class. Pretty cool. With that in place, now we can pass this form to the template. And this is done through passing an array of parameters to our template. So again, it's exactly the same logic as in Smarty. And here we do dollar form and we'll be executing create view. So create view will transform our form from its kind of object version to an HTML version. All right, so with that in place, now let's go back to the template and we need to create the form. Oh, to render actually the form and to render a form in Symfony is straightforward. And this is Twig actually, not Symfony to be more precise. So we do call it like a widget. So we have form stars. We inject the variable form that is passed right here and we have form and to close it. And now it's time to test this out so hopefully this will work refreshing and it does break down because we have probably cannot load text type class does not exist well simply because here i use it um i use these types and i did not import them so uh they are not from the bowl but in from the forms yes uh, same for text type we need to also import the name here name number and we submit type here also from the hd from the form extension core now we can refresh and we have our form we have the name we have the description we have the price and these are coming basically from here all right so that was the second part i decided really um, that was the first part i'm sorry i decided to cut this video right here because get a bit longer and i don't want to end up with the videos of 10 minutes trying to teach something so i'll stop this video right here and the next episode we will uh, learn how really to uh, submit data from this form handle the submission and insert data to the database that was your fourth episode. Hopefully that was enjoyable. See you on the next one.